that's what it was, that's what the drains will be doing now. <laughs> because <laughs> so so this is rainwater's gone in. So when I dunked it in there, that was rain. Water's draining out of that, okay. And when it stops dripping, which it will do eventually, that's what we call field capacity, okay. So the water was running out of that. That was excess water. Okay, so that's what happens during the drainage winter, which in the last 12 months has been 12 months. But normally is, you know, it should dry up in the spring and wet up in the autumn. Okay, so that's, so we mostly got to field capacity now. There's obviously still water in that sponge, because if I squeeze it, you can see how much water I can get out of it. And that's the water that's in the soil that dissolves the nutrients that we put in, whether it's artificial fertilizer or whether it's slurry or muck or whatever. And that's what's available to the plant. And if I keep squeezing that bit, that sponge until I get it absolutely dry, that would be what we call permanent wilting point. Now we haven't had permanent wilting point in this part of the world since 1976, most probably, <laughs> you know. And even in this part of the world, you might not have had permanent wilting point. I was working on a large uh, fruit farm in uh, Essex, in North Essex. We had two five million gallon reservoirs and we emptied both of them just to keep the trees alive in 1976. It was fantastic for over time. I never earned as much money in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but what we need to do is make, so what we need to do is make sure that that sponge is that way up rather than that way up. Because if we've got a big block of soil that's available, for, to hold water against drainage to hold nutrients, that we can produce a bigger root mass in grass or in wheat or in whatever, which means we'll get better plant growth. If we've got a sponge that's that, only that deep, rather than that deep, you can see there's a lot less water available, but more importantly, that block of soil will get wetter quicker. And therefore the bearing strength of that soil is reduced because it gets wetter quicker, okay? So, uh, you were saying you brought your cows in because it's not fit. Yeah, that's a different area. Yeah, that, <laughs> no, no. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. But, that's, but that's because it's got wet, you know, we've got to, we're, we're beyond field capacity, it's got wet, it, the bearing strength of the soil reduces. And therefore, you know, if you put a cow on it, you're gonna damage it. Because cows actually are the worst thing we have on grass fields. You know, we spent all these years trying to breed cows that produce us more milk. What we should have been doing is, as well as doing that, is breed them to have bigger feet. Because they're much heavier on the ground than any of your tractors are. Especially if you get the tire pressures right in the tractors. The cows are the ones, they've got small feet, big black and white cows now. They paddle it up much more than any tractor ever will. And it's the first footprint on the field. And it's the first tire mark on the field that does the damage. Uh, 